You know, you know, I, I love me some some good pastors out there. Yeah, we haven't had a new one in a while. Especially the Amen. ones that know the truth of God, which mm -hmm. is that. Amen. Pos pos prosperity is a sign of how much God loves you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. And by that metric, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates are truly loved. That's right. And that's why you don't have any right to ask for if their name was in those f flight hey, you logs. stop that fear. <laughs> okay? God knows. God did. God did. So he's based in New Orleans. Uh, he's friends with Kenneth God Copeland, did. our favorite. He's a private jet that costs $54 million. Uh, he also on the board of Oral Roberts University. That's the Let's king go. of the... Oh. The OG. He was granted an honorary doctorate. Kenneth Copeland's also on the board. Here, let's check it out. Listen to how he talks to his congregation, man. This is this is how Jesus pictured this all dang here. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Every she time. looks good. Wait, I closed the doc. She looks good. Oh, damn it. All right, my Tourette's is starting to affect the show now. Oh, boy. Here, I'll send you the link to the doc. I got to reopen it anyway. Oh, I got it. Thank you. Oh, no, this is an old doc. Old doc. Never mind. He, he, he's flaring up right now. <laughs> Was that about me? I think so. Mm -hmm, Tourette awesome. happened whenever you're more stressed. <laughs> true. That's true. <laughs> he he's actually knows a lot for someone who's not a neurologist. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now I don't give a fuck. He's <laughs> <laughs> uh, trying to compliment you. Preach. I know, man. I don't give a fuck. Okay. okay. You're a deep thinker, bro. Jesus. All right, you here made he... me defend this dude. I'm sorry. All right, here. I live in the biggest house in the state of Louisiana. In that right. I have the biggest house of any preacher in America. That's right. I got the biggest house. Shit, I only use 99% of it. I don't mean that they laugh. They love it. I have a name in my house, La Maison de Reve, the house of dreams. You like going with the wind? My house. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That same staircase that Scarlett O'Hara. That's right. Oh, I paid cash for the home. <laughs> By the way, these are the people who sit in on these prosperity uh, preachers are just poor Salt of the earth. They 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 accumulate their wealth five dollars at a time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's it's crazy how he gets them all excited about his massive house he paid cash for. Yo, he's good. Well, you want to know how big it is? It's forty thousand square foot. Oh, what? am I shocked? If we look at Kathy, what are you oh, doing? Jesus, we gonna catch it again. It's 40,000 square foot. And, I, and a lot of time, if I go out, cars start stopping, honking. Christmas, I walked outside the front, just walked out, and a man slammed his brakes and, brother, brother! I said, hello, and he threw $5,000 over the fence. Yeah, that's how it works. Bill. I said, I ain't telling Kathy nothing. Man, when you're good, when you're good like him, people just throw money. La Yo, nice. De revet. I guess people believe that. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously they do. De revet. How can you be so gullible? I mean, geez, Louise. I feel bad. Obviously, it comes from a place of desperation, but my goodness. He's just spitting in their face oh, with this shit. Here's more of him. He's, he's like the ultimate flexor. We got to give him that title. You know? We get mad when I do that. This is a Snoopy. A Snoopy, and that's an Omega. This here was the Apollo 13. Is a Do you ever talk about God or <laughs> you just flex on your people? La Maison de Reve. <laughs> Expensive watch. Uh, 007 wear Omega. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's right. This man hasn't said a single word about God. He flew his jet to the Kentucky Derby. Awesome. Take a look. Because that plane was worth every nickel and dime. And when people see it, they freak out, man. They go, look at this plane. I flew it to the Kentucky Derby. You ought to see them. People are going, look at that plane. I wanted to see them horses run. 
at the I did. It's did a dream you land on the festival. fucking field of the Kentucky that Derby? Like, like what are you talking about? People at the airport were like, whoa. Yeah, no. Whoa, look at that plane. That's what I've never seen say. one of those before. People were throwing money at me. <laughs> Just throwing. La maison de Rebe. I walked past coach. They were getting off at a different plane. They started emptying their pockets, boy, throwing their change at me. I didn't bother to pick it up because I ain't wasting no time for change. But you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. One woman, she saw the plane, knocked her on her ass. She looked just like this. I tell you what, boy. This woman. Look at that plane. She, she ain't never seen no plane like that, boy. And when she fell dead, I swear to you now, a $100 bill came right out of her pocket straight towards me. 100 I picked up. She looks frozen in time forever. Yeah. This is a video, though. This is actually not a still. Yeah, she... <laughs> You're right. She's in motion. She's in motion. <laughs> it's sad, man. Ooh, good. That's some athletes born in thoroughbreds. I close it. I, I, and the horses are first, buddy. No, you get in front of the horse. They don't care if the horse stomping. You just get out of the way, human. <laughs> but these horses are worth millions and millions and millions of dollars. And I was at the very top level. I was talking to the president's wife of Churchill Downs, and I didn't even know it. Wow. Nobody cares. La maison cool. I was talking to Church Hill's wife, and she put, opened up her damn purse and gave me $1,000. <laughs> and then go? she saluted me, and everyone clapped. I can't spend this fast <laughs> enough. I'll tell you what, boy. <laughs> uh, brags about his Rolex. Talk, cost more than his second house. Vibes. Cool. Vibes. Yeah, I'm hesitating to say I don't want to say, I'm going to get all kind of crazy and let people fight me. You'll have jewelry cost more in your house. Play that Wait, inspirational I'm music. I'm telling you, listen to me. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. My first house cost $14,700. I'm giving you a chance to write your check out. $14,700. My second house cost $81,900. And this watch cost more than that. Let's fucking get him. <laughs> what do you think, Zach? What do I think of what? The watch. His watch. I mean, does he fuck? You're, yeah, does he fuck? I mean, does that watch fuck? Not really. Really? Kind of what? Over, it's over the top. It's too much. You think it's too gaudy? Would yeah. you wear it if I bought it for you? Probably not, no. Really? You would <laughs> straight up not wear a $100,000 no. watch? It doesn't matter the price. It's not, it's the, not about the price. It's not the point. <laughs> okay, well, I... It's too, it's too, um, it's too flashy. Mm. Okay. Ow. I mean, I agree. So I'm just I'm a little surprised to hear you say that, but yeah, but you know what he's he's like, yo, I'm wearing a hundred thousand dollar watch. Let's get him. Y'all right. want to do gospelity preaching? Catch him in the in the fucking parking lot. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to t I'm about to come. Bro, he has bodyguards that. at all times. You know XQC what I mean? Loves that watch. XQC loves yeah. that watch. My yeah. second cool in house called eighty one thousand nine. Nick Cage wears that watch. Nick Cage. Yeah. Hmm. Very cool. The watch costs more than that. Still? Wasn't he like super in debt? He hung I, on to the Rolex? He is. He is. <laughs> no, he still got it. <laughs> I, I mean, I thought he was like $100 million in debt. Yeah, Nate, it was something Nate crazy. Nick Cage? Yeah, he yeah, had Nick something. Cage. He like got hit with like tax evasion or something. No, I mean, he, and also like the most insane spending you can possibly imagine. He had like 10 houses that were unoccupied with full staff and shit. Oh my like, God. Like craziest thing you can imagine. That explains the watch then. Jesus. Explains the roles you've been taking, Nick Cage. He <laughs> says six million owed to the IRS. He still owes six million to the IRS. Are Legend. He, yeah, I don't know if he still does. Yeah, this article was from June. I oh, know. Today, they paid it off. Good for him. I'm so yeah. happy for him. Hey, I'm so happy for him. I just want to remind you, Ethan, uh, in our audience, but, but um, this preacher, we actually have known about him for a while without realizing it because he no. is the other preacher. From the whole Kenneth Copeland these, jet incident. La maison de these I think they co-owned they, the... They're together. Yeah, I think they co-owned that plane, if I remember the story. That's why they're both here talking about it. And this was the famous video where they talk about the... Uh, De demons in, demons a in a tube. Yeah. Man. So yeah, this is all part of the same ecosystem. How is it that it's... it's this is legal. Not only is it not illegal, they don't pay taxes. These two demons don't pay... Taxes. They don't pay taxes. You understand what I'm saying? So, they probably pay. Uh, no, their church buys everything. They don't pay a dime. These motherfuckers don't pay I see. taxes. Because, because, right. They, they own they the church. It. The church buys everything. Right. Okay. They don't pay a dime. 
They probably came in. Living it, it. living in the house that's owned by the church isn't considered compensation. They, the the government, um, they apparently can't. They that's can't make that judgment call. Fucking bullshit. I think dude. the Scientology lawsuits really hampered the government's great ability to regulate this stuff too. <sighs> All right. Yeah, only the best, huh? Are you gonna write me another letter? Let me tell you what. This, no, no. <laughs> I can really give you some, I, I don't mean that pridefully. <laughs> sure. You know, pride is a sin, and I don't sin. You know <laughs> mm. Him and Kenneth got together. Damn, can you play some demonic music? Dogs. Again? Something like that? Dogs, apparently. Oh. Here's the last one of these two. <laughs> now, oil used to fly airlines. Right. But it, even back there then, man, <laughs> it, it got to the place where it was agitating his spirit, sure. people coming up That's to him, right. he right. had become famous and they wanting him to pray for him and right. all that. You, you can't, you, you can't manage that I ain't that praying today. for no one ain't right. paying this me. This dope filled world right. and get in an air, get in a long tube with a bunch of demons. Absolutely. Right. That's exactly. And it, it's deadly. And it, and sure it works is. on your heart. It really does. So uh, anyway, I, <laughs> I wanted to make that clear so the devil. Like, That's so of, crazy. I mean, a bunch of poor people are watching this and sending them money. Long like, genuinely, tube with a bunch of demons. I just, I, I don't understand this world we live in sometimes. So Can't weird. lie to you and say, see there, them preachers spending yeah. all that money, just, just fat cats riding around. No, we're not. Oh, we're not? Oh. I thought we were. Oh. This watch costs oh, more than he... your house. La maison de Reve. What is that sound you keep playing? It's him. So what, what he named his house. That's the name of his oh, house. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay, wait. I got a new tattoo option. Hold on. Tell me what you think. Oh, I like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Someone That's in the audience nice. is going to get that now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. She could use a top hat. We wish she's doing well wherever she is. We wish her well. We do. <laughs> She, um, she's sure she's doing great. <laughs> she's, she's fully recovered. <laughs> yeah. That's the point, right? Her vertebrae are back aligned. Yeah, no, she's the good. Scoliosis is gone. She's good. Her spine, as she's he showed, feeling. is turned in the right shape. Mm -hmm. She's spry. She's totally <laughs> vertical now. She's a vertical walker. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. By the way, here's a post from the Mormons. They they say um, that I really get them. They say the Mormon glaze is real. This is something we've been talking about a bit. Check this out. As an ex-Mormon hearing Ethan talk about the Mormons look glazed is so validating. So anyone who's been Mormon knows that when people leave the church, everyone uses this phrase, the light has left their eyes. That's what I'm talking about. They're mm. <laughs> That's so creepy, man. It is. In order to say that they are no longer righteous, it's a really common way for people who have left to be shamed by their family and friends still in the fold. When I posted a public post on social media about leaving the church, I specifically looked for a picture of myself that looked like I had light in my eyes. <laughs> so people wouldn't say that about me. Right. I had come to think since being further away from it really is just people projecting the way they feel about you leaving onto it's you, saying you've sick. lost light in your eyes. But after hearing Ethan talk about the Mormon glaze, it made me realize that people who have left have found authenticity and are no longer concerned with looking perfect and being glazed over. The True. Lights. So validating to see this from an outside perspective and realize that I haven't lost the light. You, girl, you have never lost the light in your eyes. The light in your eyes will never... Girl, listen. The light in your eyes shines so bright. The Mormons fear you because if they looked in your eyes, they would be blind. The lights... Your lights, your eyes can be seen from space, girl. Two pillars of holy matrimony. Matrimony? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I mean, if you want. We Matrimony. Yeah, we like that. Girl, you will never, ever lose your shine. Girl. Your glaze. You got that, je you got that jelly donut glaze. She's got that matrimony glaze. Mm-hmm. That's a special. You got that. You got that you donut. You know what I'm saying? Donut. I like that kind okay. of glaze. I like that glaze. That donut. You know what okay. they are? They're laminated. They're all laminated. You glazed up, girl, and I mean that like a donut, like. <laughs> And I love me some donuts. That's a good glaze. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Not too sweet. <laughs> Them's laminated type of glaze. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's creepy, though. The light has left their eyes. Like, they're dead. 
We believe in you, girl. We trust in you, girl. We love you. Mmm. That's right. You hear that? I tell you what, ma. I left me that Mormon church. I felt it was time for me to go. Been enough time being around the phonies and the fakes out there in that church. And I'll tell you one other thing, brother. Y'all don't really know what go on in the center of it all. When you get to the third chamber, you get to the fourth chamber. The Mormons got secrets, boy, like you ain't never known. I seen things in that fourth chamber you ain't never dreamed could be real. Not in a good way, neither. One time, one of the ceremonies down in the fourth circle went a little wrong. We was trying to baptize a girl, go for a record, see how long she could stay under so the baptism was better. Hallelujah. And we kept her under there real long. Stop the fear! But, uh... I guess the devil decided to take her that day because God won't eat that room. It's the blood of God. Right. And when we did with their body, we decided, you know, if it's God's will, then so be it. But son... But how do you get rid of a body as a Mormon? Where do you put the body? You're in the fourth chamber. You carry it out? No. There was only one way to get rid of the body, make sure no evidence... There's about eight of us there, and I'll tell you right now, I tell you, under God's eyes, with light in him and all, we ate that poor girl. We ate her. That was the only way, and under God's will, we did it, and we got out. And I'll tell you, I felt some kind of rush eating that there girl. You could feel God's presence as I ate her thigh like a chicken wing. The bones weren't easy to put down, boy. We had to ground them up into a powder, sip it Jeffrey in our teeth. We got it done, I'll tell you. Hmm. I sometimes still think about that girl. Her head about six inches under the water, her eyes wide open, screaming. She said, help. I said, girl, only God can help you. That's not a real book, is it? Oh, no, his is Monk. Of course it is. No, this is 100% real. Think like Purchase a monk. now on Amazon. Maybe you should think like a monk, Jay Shetty. And go <sighs> to Barnes go fucking put on an orange robe and go get the fuck out of here. Go protect, be your monk. Leave me alone, man. I want to win podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I tell you what, though, <laughs> man. Oh, shit. They, wait. 